Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking in HD, it's Bart. And today I made for you another pub favorite of mine, Guinness Irish Stew. And um, I've got it for you right here. And you'll notice that uh, in my Irish stew, I like lots of vegetables. So I've got potatoes and carrots and celery and green peas. And on top, I've garnished it with a little bit of applewood smoked cheddar cheese. And I've used um, uh, stewing beef, which I think is perfectly good for Irish stew, but you can use um, other somewhat tough cuts of beef if you'd like, because as you stew the meat, it will tenderize and taste great. So um, I look forward to showing you guys how to make my Guinness Irish beef stew. So let's go over our ingredients. First of all, we've got, of course, the Guinness and I've got about a pint of that. I've got some beef stock. I've got about three pounds of stewing beef. I've chopped into, I don't know, about a half inch cubes some carrots, celery, and potatoes. I've left the skin on the potatoes. I've got about three medium-sized yellow onions. I've got green peas. I've got flour and I've got some brown sugar. That's because um, the Guinness will be a little bit bitter once it's reduced down. We've got uh, some Worcestershire sauce, some herbs. Here we have rosemary and thyme, bay leaves, uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper. And on top, I'm just gonna garnish this with a little bit of applewood smoked cheddar cheese. Oh yeah, and I've got some garlic as well. First thing I want to do is just sear the outside of the beef and get it cooking. I just want to give it a little bit of color on the outside. I don't want to cook the beef right through, so um, in order for the temperature to stay hot here, I don't want to crowd this. So we'll just let that sear on the outside and I'm going to set it aside. Now here's a some of the beef that I just took off and you can see it's got a little bit of uh, brown color on the outside so that's good we want that and we'll just do the rest of the uh, the stewing beef this way now in the same pot that we just browned our uh, our stewing beef in we're gonna put in some our onions and let them saute up a bit let them soften And there's actually a lot of really good flavor down at the bottom. Those are little chunks of beef, chunks of stewing beef. You want to scrape all that off because that will then those flavors will then go into the onions, which you know you want that to help flavor the onions and make the, the stew taste better. Okay, the onions are now nicely softened up, so I will add my garlic in. Okay, next I'm going to take two tablespoons of flour, a pinch of chili, uh, some diced uh, thyme and rosemary and I'm going to put it into uh, the onions and what we want to do is just mix the flour in well making sure that there aren't any clumps before we move on. Okay so this is now the consistency that I want it's kind of thick and pasty and now it's time to add the beef back in. Okay. Beef is now back into the pot, and I just got to give everything a really good stir. All right now, I've stirred the beef back in and mixed everything up nicely, and now it's time to add the veggies to the pot. Got some carrots in there, some potatoes, some celery. Some green peas in here too, maybe about a, a cup or two, whatever you want. All right, now you can see that I've got the peas and I've got two bay leaves in there, my veggies are in there, my meat's in there, and now for my favorite, favorite part. I'm gonna dump a whole can of Guinness in there. It's about one pint, okay. And you can see that we've got room for a little bit more. So I'm actually going to add just a little bit more Guinness and a little bit more beef stock. All right, 
right, let's open our can. There it goes. And just add a little bit more. It's good. And then I'll add some beef stock as well. Okay, there goes my beef stock. And I'm pretty happy with where that's at. Here, let me give you a slightly better view. Now I just have to mix everything up and get everything nice and incorporated. And we're going to bring this up to a boil. And once it's up to a boil, then I'm going to bring it back down to a simmer. And then we're going to simmer it for a few hours. And of course, we'll season it and add a few other things like Worcestershire sauce. And uh, we'll balance some of the tanginess, or the bitterness, I should say, of the, the Guinness uh, with a little bit of brown sugar. But for now, I just want to make sure I've got enough liquid in here. And I think, I think we could actually go for a little bit more Guinness. There we go. Awesome. All right, I've got this bubbling away now. And so I'm going to put the cover on. And we'll just let it uh, go down to a, let's see here, put it down to a nice simmer. We'll check on it again in about 45 minutes. Okay guys, it's been about one hour, so let's take a look here. See, it's simmering away, and as soon as I take the lid off, it uh, smells just absolutely delectable. It, Smells great. Um, so I'm going to take a, a taste of this, and I see a bay leaf there, so I'm probably going to just yank that out. Don't want that. I reckon it's done its job. And it, it, this is pretty thick, right? Like I, I like my uh, my student nice and thick. Okay, so this has been stewing now for about an hour and a half, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of brown sugar just to counteract the bitterness. Uh, of the stout beer and give it a nice stir and we'll taste it and I don't want it to taste sweet obviously I just want it to have a balanced flavor all right guys so here is the final product as you can see I've got my Guinness Irish beef stew right here and I'm gonna taste it for you so first let's go with the stew you can see this is pretty thick Mmm, it's got a little bit of bite from the, the bitter, bitterness of the, the Guinness. And then I put some brown sugar in just a little bit to counterbalance that. So it's got a sweet and savory. And also it helps that we've got green peas and carrots because those have a little bit of sugar as well. Let's try the, um, the beef, a little bit on there. Mmm, very tender. And you know, I'm going to serve this with some sourdough bread. You can just dip it in there and take a bite. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, on a cold winter night like this, I can't think of anything more appropriate than a hearty Guinness Irish beef stew like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And I know that you'll love making this at home for your friends and family. Until next time on Cooking in HD, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.